Hi, this is Stan Urban at Stan Urban's Unique Clay Works in downtown Rockport, Texas. Uh, we're in the studio right now. It's a small space, but uh, uh, it's very efficient and uh, it works pretty well uh, for a one-person operation. Uh, well, two counting Vicki, she's the other half. Uh, it's equipped with uh, uh, work tables and potter's wheels and uh, a slab roller and a pug mill and glazed storage area. Um, and uh, here are a couple of pieces that I've been working on lately, which kind of reflect some of the imagery we see daily out uh, in Aransas Bay, which is uh, not right next to us. And uh, uh, sort of a combination of uh, nature and oil platforms and industry, that sort of thing. You don't see a lot of uh, pots in here right now because they're all on the outside. We'll go out to the glaze area and I'll show you uh, what I've been working on out there and then we'll move on to the kiln and then the gallery. Let's walk over to the other side of this table. These are, are things that are glazed but not fired yet so they have that sort of powdery surface on them. Uh, here are some of the sculptural, sort of sculptural vessels. This is a wall piece with some, uh, some of the live oaks that I've started doing lately uh, that Rockport is so noted for. Uh, here are a couple of uh, wall hangings. Uh, this is a triptych. This is one piece of the triptych and uh, um, making use of the live oak really as a kind of metaphor for uh, some of the things we've been going through uh, from the hurricane up until more recently, the coronavirus and social issues and that sort of thing. I think they're kind of symbolic of, uh, you know, recovery and resistant, uh, uh, resilience, that sort of thing. There I've kind of incorporated the live oak into a handle on that cup. And uh, here's some other um, little uh, mugs and I used a lot of wax resist, in this case uh, latex, which uh, I usually apply over a glaze and then after it dries, I spray a top coat on and then peel the latex away and that creates a lot of real sharp imagery and uh, uh, it's possible to develop uh, real rich patterns with that. Um, this is a little teapot, one of a series I'll be making for a show in Houston that's coming up in January. Uh, with the live oaks and uh, um, um, heron sitting on the lid. Here's some more pieces over here. Again, I like to use a lot of pattern and uh, a certain amount of patinas where the surface stays fairly dry, but there's a, a sort of a contrast there. This is actually a combination of a buff clay and a white clay. And a lot of brush work along with the resist as well as stamps um, that uh, I cut with a little heat gun. This is my glaze area, all the buckets and spray bottles, and this is my sort of temporary spray, spray booth with uh, uh, a light and a turntable, and uh, just hang my glazes off of that and uh, hook up my compressor for when I want to spray glaze, which I do quite a lot of. And then we'll move on out to the kiln. This is the electric kiln, which I do my bis firing in. And out here is my gas kiln, which I just finished uh, about this time last year, and uh, which I'm real proud of. It just fires beautifully even and, and uh, uh, as quick as I want it to fire. It's just a natural gas reduction with a KO wall door. Um, I like the hinge because uh, it makes it really easy to load and, um, and then uh, I'm not dealing with bricking up doors and that sort of thing. The grassy area that you're looking at now is where the new Rockport Center for the Arts will be constructed. Uh, they're getting ready to, to uh, uh, start that process and then probably go on for a year or more. But I think that'll be a real interesting uh, addition to the 
local downtown area, which you see out this way, that's Austin Street, and uh, uh, local merchants and galleries up and down that little uh, strip. Okay, we'll go back in and go to the gallery. This is a small gallery which uh, serves a very important function. Uh, not only is it an outlet for the sale of my work, it's also a very ready uh, resource being here right next to the studio. Um, so I'm often coming over and being reminded of things that I want to pursue or ideas I want to develop uh, or things that uh, I need to make uh, that have been selling well. So um, I've never had a gallery. Uh, uh, this in such close proximity to the studio, but I kind of think of it as an essential part of any kind of uh, uh, production uh, studio. Not that I'm a production potter by any means, but uh, using that in a broader sense. Um, okay, so um, we also have web presence, and uh, you'll hopefully have access to that during uh, Texas Clay Fest, which is coming up uh, toward the end of October. So I appreciate you uh, uh, being involved in that and come visit us on the website. Thank you so much.